the risk for almost any disease increases exponentially with age. Fortunately, we are slowly understanding how to not only slow aging, but to reverse it. And not by drugs, but by diet and lifestyle. A study published in the journal Aging could successfully decrease the biological age of 18 participants by two years with an eight-week diet and lifestyle intervention. But let's back up for a second. How can we actually measure somebody's biological age? I made a whole video about it, but in brief, we can measure changes to the genome that do not affect the DNA sequence itself. Those changes are called methylations and act as little tags on the DNA that control what genes should be read and which should be skipped. Using ingenious algorithms, we can now predict somebody's chronological age based on certain methylation patterns in the genome with an accuracy of 96%. And the measured biological age even predicts all-cause mortality and many morbidities better than the chronological age. Let's say you are 30 and statistically speaking the risk for cancer is 0.025%. But if your biological age is actually 45, your risk for cancer is 5 times higher than that. But don't worry, the study we are about to discuss here shows us that it can be fairly easy to reverse our biological age. So how did they do it? Let's talk about the diet first. Generally, the participants followed a low to moderate carb diet. They avoided sugar, dairy, grains and legumes. They were also only allowed to eat from 7am to 7pm, so they fasted for 12 hours daily. Whatever they ate was supposed to be organic whenever possible. So here's what they ate. Each day included 2 cups of dark leafy greens, 2 cups of cruciferous vegetables, 3 additional cups of colorful vegetables, 1 to 2 beets, a quarter cup of pumpkin seeds and a quarter cup of sunflower seeds, about 6 ounces organic animal protein, two servings of low glycemic fruits and, last but not least, one serving of mesylations adaptogens, which can be any of those. They also supplemented with probiotics and phytonutrients twice daily. Link to the products in the description. Now, every week they were also including nutrient-dense animal products, such as three servings of liver per week and five to ten eggs per week. In terms of lifestyle changes, the participants did a minimum of 30 minutes of moderate exercise at least 5 times a week, they slept for at least 7 hours per night and performed breathing exercises twice daily to reduce stress. Ok, that's it. In my opinion the main focus of this diet is to cover all essential micronutrients while eating a low to moderate carb diet. A problem with the study is certainly that we don't know whether the positive effects come from eating the right foods or avoiding the wrong foods or mostly by lifestyle changes or, and that is most likely, by a combination of it all. Future research will tell. If you enjoyed this video, here's another one about aging that you might like. Also please consider subscribing if you're new to this channel. Thank you for watching.